This section of the webinar refers to a case study, namely a hybrid teaching factory model towards personalized education for. A hybrid classroom has become more and more common during the pandemic. The study presents a hybrid model under the teaching factory framework concept. Engineering students guided remotely laboratory personnel towards a successful manufacture and assembly of a customized project's assignments and completed training webinars in the field of maintenance and computer-aided manufacturing. Besides technology, innovative pedagogy and learning environments, this study added two constructs, sustained support and cyber safety. Online learning and digital technology-based teaching was pushed forward by the COVID pandemic. The crisis became an opportunity though, to put forward long awaited changes aimed at improving the digital skills of the educational community and to provide people beyond education with a wide variety of long overdue online services. But, highlighted the significant consequences on the economic crisis in the same time. Approximately 20% of the Greek students do not have access to a computer, 10% do not have internet access, 33.3% of students complained about the technical and digital skills of their supervisors, and 40% of Greek students attended schools with a suboptimal infrastructure for supporting an online teaching and learning platform. Education is undergoing a technological transformation aimed at hybrid teaching and learning, which emphasizes flexibility, productivity, and connectivity. Considering the above, a hybrid teaching learning cloud-based framework is presented. Its applicability has been validated in four real-life machine shop case studies. Time for some questions to see what you have learned until now. Here's the first question. What has pushed to the forefront the online learning and the digital technology? If your answer is the COVID pandemic, then you are right. If not, please go back and see again the slides. The second question, hybrid teaching and learning emphasizes which elements? If your answer is the hybrid teaching and learning emphasizes flexibility, productivity, and connectivity, then the answer is correct. If not, please go through the slides again and find the correct answer. Going forward, we will refer now to the state of the art of the teaching and learning factory models, state of the market situation for online education. The fourth industrial revolution brought forward Internet of Things and artificial intelligence and connect people through smart devices. Moreover, shift towards digitalization means 
new teaching and learning methods. Henceforth, the future of education is undoubtedly aligned with Industry 4, meaning that the curriculum needs to be tailored to the individual preferences and interests, educators become mentors, services provided active lifelong learning, new ways of connectivity and data management, meaning cloud technology, new environments for knowledge sharing and training, that is extended reality, and in, that is embedded in manufacturing, the so-called cyber physical systems. It also means a shift from teacher-centered to student-centered learning. And last but not least, students must have ICT and collaborative skills, interest in lifelong learning, be able to solve critical problems, think creatively and communicate effectively. In this picture, we see how Industry 4 relates to Education 4. So these are the basic requirements. Flexible production line means tailored learning path. Online quality control means formative assessment. Workers monitor automation and therefore, teachers become mentors. Custom products require divergence and pluralism. System sharing means education is a goal and lifelong learning requires continuous teachers training. Data-driven adaption of any aspect of institutional practice to a specific learner's relevant characteristics is defined as personalized education. That is, adaption of instructional materials to fit the learner's learning style. Relevant learner characteristics are any variables that explain the variance in learning outcomes. The personalized hybrid teaching factory model in comparison to traditional teaching factory model is shown in the next figure and of course is based on control system modeling principles. Here we can see figure two, meaning traditional model versus hybrid teaching factory model. Please study and see how the two are related or opposed to each other. <clears throat> 